the not so hidden fees after you close on a home. Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams back again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So you've gone through the entire process of seeking out a home, going through escrow, now finally getting the keys. You're a homeowner, congratulations. But now what? Because unless you have a new build home, brand new, like there's costs associated with a home as soon as you move in. So let's dive through what some of those could be. Now the first piece is obviously your mortgage, okay? You already know that, but behind the scenes, you're gonna have uh, homeowner's insurance, you're gonna have taxes, uh, maybe even some uh, you know, uh, PMI or private mortgage insurance, right? All that stuff's tacked onto your mortgage, okay? Now, if you're in a, uh, a PUD or an HOA, you're gonna have some fees associated with that, right? On average, they go about 250 bucks, but my gosh, some parts, um, and I won't disclose where, you can see that anywhere up to about 800 to 1,000 bucks a month, right? So HOA fees are, are something that sometimes hits us on the backside when we weren't expecting it. And then we get to the actual cost of maintaining your home, which includes repairs. So think about this in terms of repairs. If you're looking to uh, improve or replace your HVAC system, right, you could be looking at thousands and thousands of dollars. For roofing repairs, you know, it could be a couple hundred bucks all the way up to a few thousand bucks. And then if you have to replace the entire roof, depending on how big the footprint of your house is, you could be seven, eight thousand dollars or more. You've got plumbing expenses, um, pretty pricey because now you're talking with somebody who's a trade expert and now you're dealing with plumbing lines and water. It just gets nasty. Again, a couple hundred bucks for a simple project, thousands of dollars for a more complex. What happens if you have mold or how about radon, right? You're talking to remediate that stuff. You're talking several hundred dollars um, and sometimes upward to a couple of thousand dollars. And finally, you know, one that doesn't happen a lot here in Utah is like pest uh, infestation. And we're talking specifically termites, could be rodents, still happens. That's why you want to have that looked at when you do your inspection. You're talking several hundred dollars. And when you add all of that up, the cost of Getting your home up to speed or up to your specs after you take a purchase could be thousands of dollars. So keep this in mind when you go to do your inspection, right? Go through it with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you work with your realtor and the other party to make sure you get that home in as best condition as possible. As always, if you've got other questions, you've got comments, want to discuss it, give us a call, text or emails. We'd love to help you.